Hi, gardening friends. Thank you for tuning in this week to the garden tour. So we're well into August. Fall's right around the corner, but we still have a lot of summer color, as you can see. Limelight hydrangeas are still going, as well as the knockouts and blue Victoria Salvia. In case you're new to my channel, uh, this year I've decided to do a weekly garden tour as best I can to show you how everything looks throughout the entire season. This crepe myrtle is just gorgeous. One of my favorites. I love that red color. I'm thinking about uh, limbing it up and taking the bottom limbs out of it and just having the top. I've seen that done before. I've actually done it before to this one. And then that way it's not coming so far over the sidewalk too. Under it is the Laropi that is now blooming, the purple. Laropi or Laropi. That was transplanted there this year, and then uh, Ajuka giving me that dark burgundy color. It doesn't look very burgundy on screen, but it is in person. Limelights, you can never go wrong with the limelight hydrangea. This year we added the lamb's ear to the border here with the uh, marigolds. Also in the border, I've added this spring, early summer, uh, the coral bells. Purple prince, it's purple something. I'm really shocked the sedum, Autumn Joy. I'm shocked that it's not got its pink color on yet. I think a lot of, uh, I heard a lot of YouTubers on their garden tours saying that theirs hasn't turned yet either. Usually it has by now. I figured I would go ahead and do the tour now because we had a small storm today and it's cloudy so this is the other lamb's ear big ears the leaves are uh, bigger than the other variety also this variety doesn't get the blooms it's just very nice uh, foliage color easy to um, take cuttings from and divide which is what I've done here don't look at the weeds there slowly but surely lay in mulch here another hydrangea this one fire and ice I think I think not sure and then, of course, the Wajulia that we transplanted. Giving me some nice purple or burgundy foliage. Also, the shrub up here that has yellow flowers on it. Potentella. And it has bloomed throughout the whole summer. Now it's 
siblings over here. <laughs> I don't know why, but they're not doing as well as that one. I don't know if it gets more sun or what. Blanket flower, the red. I've been taking off the spent blooms, which encourages a uh, new bloom. So this will bloom for several weeks, several months, actually. Sorry for the bu bumpiness. There's mosquitoes are crazy right now. Coreopsis. Tithonia, Mexican sunflower. Basil. Mosquitoes are terrible. So I think I'm going to make this garden walk quickly. This is a, a pinky winky a hydrangea. It was supposed to be a hydrangea tree, and I have yet to cut the old tree down, but uh, I didn't think it was going to come back, and obviously it's come back and I think I'm gonna move it so this is one of the things I will be moving this fall to another location but it'll get the cone shaped uh, blooms it'll start off white and then turn into a pink Doesn't the sedum and that ajuga ground cover look good together? David Austin roses. Don't remember the variety. Very pretty, very fragrant. Firelight Hydrangea. So they will start out white, like bright white. And then as the summer goes on, on into August, they will turn a rusty pink. Really pretty. Zinnias, still looking good. And these zinnias will last through mid-October, late October, till we get a big frost. Love that color.
I think this one's my favorite. I just saw it today. Gorgeous. Hot pink. Still not sure what we're doing with this area. I'll be thinking about it over the winter. This year we did the Pottager garden type deal and just got a little bit too messy looking right here. For my taste anyway. Sunflowers. I had to stake this guy up because it was leaning over the sidewalk. I'll be growing those next year. I really like those. Prolific bloomer. And then some with the rust color. So pretty. Veronica still giving me a little bit of color I'll be saving the seeds to this this was the red hollyhock So not much has changed since the last tour. A couple of sedums, uh, low growing sedums, ground cover I guess you could say. It is beginning to bloom. And then that little guy in there. This blue wildflower just keeps blooming. I don't know the name of it. If you guys know, please let me know. Whew. up the grass it was falling over so looks much better now the miscanthus and then I had a smaller chunk of the joe pie weed that I transplanted today I think that'll be give me height in the back that'll be good there Mullen. Well, would, would you look at that? One more bloom out of the day, Lily. Moonflower vine. I don't see any blooms out tonight. Right now. Maybe that one will open up. But as you can see, it does have several blooms on it. I'll 
so uh, Bluebeard is beginning to bloom. I hope you guys can see that. There's turtle head. It is now coming into bloom, so that's a new bloom for you this week. Turtle head. Dark green foliage. A hot pink bloom. Looks like the Stelladora Daylily will bloom some more this year. It's got a new flush of blooms. Sorry for the eyesore there. <laughs> and we have a Hosta. I forget the variety, of course, but. We have a hosta that's blooming. A little fairy garden. A start to a fairy garden anyway. Alright guys, so I'm going to end this week's tour here. If the mosquitoes weren't so bad, I would walk the rest of the yard, but I am just ate up. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for joining me on this week's tour. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be posting fall videos soon. Halloween videos and fall planting also uh, go over some fall bulbs that I will be uh, getting purchasing this year all right guys take care and I'll see you in the next one